We're officially behind the scenes, people. Thoughts on having a documentary on you? What a lovely day. Chuba Hubbard shot out of a cannon. Holmes oh, away from the tackler, and now he could be off to the races. Unless a meteor or something's coming across that field, nothing's gone. I pull to the end zone for the touchdown. Just his presence physically and his athleticism, it's just jumping out of the tape. You put me in any form, and I'm going to shape to that, that mold that you know you want to see me at. He's got those special abilities that you're looking for because those are guys that turn the ball over and those are guys that change the game. What are you doing? Canadian taking over Miami. All right, let's hop on right here. People know nothing Not about Canada. So they're like, oh, I know Alaska. Is that Canada? Like, <laughs> yeah. Chase, you know, he was born athletic. Go, Chase, go! He's faster than the other kids. He's bigger than the other kids. He's stronger than the other kids. There you go, sweetheart. I'm running down the sideline. Touchdown. <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to play for the rest of your life? Or do you want to work and get a job? He said he wanted to play. When I was younger, I was like, why aren't you dad? Like, why aren't you chill? Here I realized that coach and dad are just the same thing with different titles. Chuba Hubbard was a track star. I knew he had a gift, he was fast. You never needed to go to a photo finish when it came to Chuba because he wanted to be the fastest. He hated to lose. When he learned the game of football, things started to change. There was definitely Heisman Trophy buzz about Chuba Hubbard. I never really thought about NFL. I was just thinking of being a starter at some point in college. I was looking at academics first because I was like, I can take advantage of a good scholarship. Yo, hey, it's what we do. Get with Program, the program, son, baby. My dad played in both. Like, he played in the NFL and he played in the CFL. Yeah. yeah. And then I have an older brother, too. I was like, I want to be able to surpass what my brother and my dad have done. He's got a tattoo on it that says 604 to 510. British Columbia's area code was 604, and the Bay Area is 510. It's kind of like roots, how like the tree grows its roots underneath, and it grows into what, it, what I am now. It's just crazy to think like when I was young, there was no one like you or like you that I was like, I want to be like that. I want to be a safety. I want to be yeah. a wide receiver like, yeah. like them boys in the NFL. Day two of the 2020 NFL draft is now officially open. <laughs> I watched the draft at my agent's house. It was unfortunate that I couldn't have my family and stuff there with me just because COVID and stuff. As a mom not being there, it was difficult. For the Miami Dolphins, Javon Holland. I got my head out of the camera. Like, answer the phone, answer. Pittsburgh Steelers select. Chase Claypool, wide receiver, Notre Dame. When you see Chase Claypool scoring four touchdowns for the Steelers, when you see Javon Holland as a second round pick in the NFL, Things was born in Canada. Having that belief is as big a change as anything. Is this a blip? for the new normal. I'm so excited! I get to hug my son! One kid or one person wants to get anything across from this. It was just, it doesn't matter where you're from, it's possible. Some Nothing. people don't even know Canada's above the states. Like <laughs>